Bo Ramirez is the first boy of the month for leadership and responsibility. Bo's favorite moment is the Veterans Assembly when the school came together to be respectful. Bo hopes to leave behind the legacy of the Special Olympic Torch Run and that it will become a tradition for CHS. Bo's advice is to slow down and enjoy the smaller things in high school. It really does go by fast. Bailey Peters was chosen as the first girl of the month for leadership and responsibility. Bailey will miss the staff at CHS who all truly care about more than just teaching. She will miss their friendship, advice, and tiger spirit. Mr. Stratton, Mr. Gunther have had the biggest impact on Bailey's life by teaching her so much about life in and out of the classroom. Bailey's future plans to receive her degree in agriculture education from Washington State University, become a national FFA officer, Miss America, and dance on Broadway. In 10 years, she hopes to be married to the man of her dreams and live on a farm with her cows. Stephen Phelps is the October Boy of the Month for sportsmanship and school spirit. Stephen's role models throughout high school have been Mr. Sharp, Mr. Rodlin, Mrs. Taja, Mrs. Haskins, Lori Johnson, Gilmore, and most importantly, his mom. Stephen hopes to leave behind the legacy of being the first flag wielder at class competitions. <laughs> Stephen's future plans are going to Centralia College for two years while working on discus then attending Central Washington University to major in exercise science and minor in business. In 10 years, Stephen sees himself driving the Batmobile down the streets of Gotham, defending all that is good. Sky <laughs> Rodden, Girl of the Month for October, was nominated for her school spirit and sportsmanship. Mr. Ulrich has had the greatest impact on Sly's life for always believing in her and pushing her to exceed her own expectations. Sai's favorite Tiger moments are hosting the dating game and seeing the student body wear her design for the Renaissance shirt. Chuck McKeever was chosen as Boy of the Month in November for friendship and loyalty. Chuck hopes his legacy at CFS will be his hair. Chuck's future plans are to get a job and move to Vegas. In 10 years, he sees himself owning a construction business. Chuck's advice is don't procrastinate. <laughs> Quincy Amberty was also chosen as Girl of the Month for, in November for friendship and loyalty. In one word, Quincy would describe herself as determined. Quincy's most embarrassing moment is falling flat on her butt in nap with LeDuc. Mrs. Elder, Mr. Gilmore, and Mr. Whitmire have had the biggest impact on her life for being her support system throughout high school. Julian Del Real is the December Boy of the Month for optimism. Julian's favorite Tiger moments are playing tennis and beating Baylor Scott in a one-on-one -on -one basketball game. <laughs> Julian will miss his prodigies at CHS, Nikki Chris Martin, and Baylor Scott. Julian's advice for everyone is live now, laugh later, laugh now. Oh, sorry, laugh now, laugh later. <laughs> Jessica Lee was also chosen in December as Girl of the Month for her optimism. Jessica's most embarrassing moment is her entire freshman and sophomore years. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica's advice is to just be yourself. No one wants a copy. When asked who has had the biggest impact on her life, Jessica, Jessica said her mother, Mrs. Lee, because she is just the most wonderful person ever. The teacher who has had the biggest impact on Zach's life is his mom, who is not only his biology teacher, but also his lifelong teacher. Zach's most embarrassing moment is saying the Pledge of Allegiance wrong over the morning announcements. <laughs> Next fall, Zach will attend Washington State University, and in 10 years, he would like to be somewhere warm. Cora Macy was voted Girl of the Month in January for her citizenship. In one word, Cora would describe herself as ambitious. Cora hopes to be known as the first girl to graduate from CHS with her high school diploma, completion of beauty college with her cosmetology license, and an AA with honors from Centralia College. <laughs> After graduation, Cora will attend Washington State University to earn a bachelor's degree in elementary education and a master's in educational administration. But her big dream is to move to California to work as Cinderella at Disneyland, marry Prince Charming, live in the castles he built, and live happily ever after. Matt Boyd was chosen as Boy of the Month in February for creativity. The teachers who have had the biggest impact on Matt's 
by our Mr. Canfield for inspiring him academically, and Mrs. Lori Johnson for giving him skills and inspiration to follow a music career. Matt hopes his legacy at CHS will be that kid with a great voice, a great fashion sense, and good looks. Matt's advice is do what you love. You can never go wrong if you listen to your heart. <laughs> Carolyn Boswell was voted Girl of the Month for February for her creativity. If given one word, Carolyn would describe herself as cheerful. The things she will miss most from CHS are Photoshop and photography. Zach Bonagoski is the March Boy of the Month for Honesty. Using one word, <laughs> using one word Zach would describe himself as quiet. Zach's favorite moment at CHS is, handing, is hands down watching Finding Nemo in Probate's class. <laughs> Probate and Miss Elder have had the biggest impact on Zach's life because they made learning fun and easy. Abby Slory, Girl of the Month for March, was chosen for her honesty. Abby's favorite Tiger moment is beating Shahalis, winning the district championships, and going on to state for fast pitch her sophomore year. Abby will miss the staff, teachers, and super fanning for sports events at CHS. Abby's advice for everyone is to just enjoy high school, do as many things as you can, try new things, and make memories. For being genuinely kind, Prince Gutterson was voted Boy of the Month for April. Prince's most embarrassing moment is coming to school with his dress shirt inside out. <laughs> Prince's favorite tiger moment is playing ho so hockey sock with Michael Conine. Prince will miss all the people at CHS, sports, and amazing assemblies. Katie Mitchell was voted as April's girl of the month for being genuinely kind. To describe herself, Katie would use the word kind-hearted. When asked what she hopes to leave, what she hopes her legacy at CHS will be, Katie said, I hope my legacy will be how nice and kind I've been to everyone. And I guess my lifting record. <laughs> What Katie will miss most at CHS is the teachers and the weight room. Jake Peterson was voted Boy of the Month for always seeking knowledge. Jake's favorite, favorite Tiger moment is being with the girls' volleyball team when they made history last year, placing at state. The teacher that has had the biggest impact on Jake's life is Mr. Sharp. Jake's future plans are to major in chemistry, attend medical school at the University of Washington, and then become an intern at the Seattle Hospital. The final girl of the month for always seeking knowledge is Onda Christian. Onda's favorite tiger moment is homecoming week this past year. She loved building the giant circus tent, competing in class competitions, and winning the whole thing. As advice, Onda says, in the words of Tim Gunn, make it work. High school and life throw you curveballs at you, and it's about learning to make the best out of the hand you're dealt. In the fall, Onda plans to attend the University of Washington's Foster School of Business. Her ultimate dream is to be the executive of a Fortune 500 company and to travel the world. The next 10 seniors are the members of the senior corps as voted by the staff. Alex Dayrood and Parker Pollington. Alex Dayrood's favorite moment at CHS is getting a 10 second pin in wrestling. Alex plans on running for president and sees himself in the White House in 10 years. Alex <laughs> hopes his legacy at CHS will be being a beast. <laughs> Parker Pocklington's advice is to go wild for events, get all glittered up, and rock tutus. Enjoy our school and represent it well. Parker's most embarrassing moment is when her underwear fell out of her gym bag at the block house and she found them on her windshield when she went back to her truck. <laughs> she says, thanks, Lima. <laughs> Parker hopes to leave behind a legacy of hard work and energy and be an example of dedication and laughter. David Finch and Kendall Decker. David Finch. David Finch's favorite Tiger moment is the Wizard of Oz musical. One word David would use to describe himself is ginger. <laughs> David's favorite quote is success is the best revenge for anything. David's future plans are to go to Sacramento College and become a singer-songwriter. Kendall Decker's favorite Tiger moment is do work night with Grace, Katie, Haley, Morgan, and Alex. Kendall will miss super fanning with all her favorite girls, marine bio laughs, and homecoming weeks. Kendall's advice to everyone is to go on the East Coast trip, take biology,
technology and make as many memories as you can because it goes by faster than you think. Derek Putman and Grace Burgess. Derek Putman's most embarrassing moment is sitting in a chair in Mrs. Taja's class when the chair suddenly collapsed, leaving him pinned against the wall. <laughs> Derek's advice is to ride the bull. After graduate, graduating, Derek plans to attend Centralia College, then Eastern Washington University to become an athletic trainer. Grace's favorite moment at CHS was pranking Mr. Warren with Mr. Stratton as her accomplice. Grace her hopes her legacy at CHS will be the girl that took every science course offered. Grace plans to attend Centralia College for two years, then go on a mission trip before attending a university. At 10 years, she wants to be living back in Montana with a family and a job. Michael Stewart and Isabella Silva Perez. Michael Stewart's most embarrassing moment is when people found out Jake LaDuke is his cousin. <laughs> Michael Stewart is going to state for wrestling. Michael's advice is don't wait until the last minute. Izzy's favorite Tiger moments are getting recognized at this year's Renaissance Assembly with the first Vanguard Award and making it to the state finals in wrestling. Izzy hopes her legacy at CHS will be the first girl to change the stereotype and join the boys wrestling team. Miss Abel has had the biggest impact on Izzy's life at CHS because she's not just a teacher, but a coach and a friend. Nathan Winkle and Alicia Ayres. quiet, but says that's not always true when you get to know him. Nathan's favorite Tiger moments are riding in the man van to cross-country state freshman year, and the reaction he got from everyone when he rapped in sports med this year. The staff member who has had the biggest impact on Nathan's life is his mom, Mrs. Winkle, who is not only his teacher in seventh grade, but has been his teacher for the past 18 years. Alicia has been greatly impacted by last year's Spanish teacher, Mrs. Graves, who taught her responsibility and directed her in the right path to be successful. Alicia will miss all of her TA classes at CHS because she knows she won't get those in college. <laughs> Alicia will attend Centralia College for two years, then transfer to the University of Washington to become a pediatric nurse. In ten years, she sees herself living in a sunny state with her family. members at CHS are David Finch and Alicia Arias. Congratulations and thank you to all the boys and girls of the month and members of the senior corps. 